is. She is. We're going to meet one of the nicest people in sport now. You thought I was going to say, well, you are one of the nicest people in sport. Actually, no. one of the nicest people in football, to be fair. Yeah. Um, Linvoy Primus, as you know, defender for Pompey, but uh, we're going to find out that what he does off the pitch is just as important as what he does on the pitch, and that's what we're looking at in Southern ways. Yeah, Linvoy has teamed up with some fellow Christians to start a football league in Portsmouth for children. Roger Finn has been along to hear his story. <laughs> a Thursday night in Summerstown in Portsmouth. Linvoy Primus has just signed a new contract to stay another two years with Portsmouth Football Club. My one's finished. But the journey that brought him to this playground is just as remarkable. As a child, he went to church and hated it. He was really good against Arsenal. No, we're still He skipped Sunday school to play football and eventually became a professional with Charlton, and his career took off. We wanted to beat them, Liverpool. You beat us. No, no, are you Liverpool yeah. sport, are you? We beat you 3-0 that. All right, okay, all right, yeah, I don't know about that bit. <laughs> Church didn't really take a, a big part in my life, and then as, uh, as I was going on in football, sort of starting to make a career for myself, um, I realised that, you know, the material things that I was um, gaining and um, weren't really satisfying me, you know, and uh, every time I, I used to get something new, it'd be okay for a little while and then I'd want okay? the next thing and so I, I was always chasing something and never, you know, never getting any satisfaction. Hey. When he moved to Portsmouth, Linvoy and his wife at first Mark, felt isolated. They weren't sure if people wanted to know them for themselves or for their fame and riches. The turning point came when Linvoy was invited to church. Uh, here in Summerstown, Lord, we just pray for tonight. We pray for all the families, Father. We pray for the children. First time I really understood what it all meant. And um, it's about, you know, just trusting in God, trusting in Jesus and, um, you know, giving my life to him. And eventually, um, I'd done that after about six weeks. I said a prayer and uh, gave my life to, to the Lord. and. Um, and f from the moment I said it, you know, I felt whole. In Jesus' name, believing that we've received. The league idea came from Mick Mellows, a fellow church member. Mick also played for Pompey back in the 70s. Oh, good ball. Good save. We don't go there and, and, and overtly talk about our faith in the, in the first instance. We simply go there as people representing uh, the, the community to organise football. We love football, we love to serve people, which is what we're doing with the community leagues, and, and really we're using it as an opportunity, if you like, uh, first and foremost, to break down people's um, misconceptions about church. The faith in football idea is growing. Two years ago they went to Nigeria to set up football schemes for children. This summer they're going to do something similar in India, they're also taking a group of their Portsmouth children on an activity well, holiday. I'll get your one, can I? Yeah. They're, they're just happy, you know, and to see them happy, and I, I don't know what their lives are like outside this, but to see them there and they're all getting on with it, mixing in and enjoying it, it's, a, it's just an enjoyment. I thought you said it's rubbish. That's a joke. See? When we say we're Christians, of course people look at us and they're, they're judging us in a sense on what we do. So. Uh, Really, we're not, we're not preaching, we're just living a life that hopefully will reflect something of the person who we follow. Well done. Better than someone goes to school in Portsmouth. I don't score any. 